After a challenging start to the season and another tough matchup last week against Vanderbilt, the Huskies rolled into Amherst to try and take down the likewise winless UMass Minutemen. This year's rivalry FBS contest was a good one. The first half featured back and forth scoring by both teams, highlighted by a 34-yard Krajewski touchdown that was set up earlier by a huge Nate Carter rush for 30 yards. Carter had a big day for UConn, amassing 20 rushing attempts for 147 yards, including the 30-yard gain and a 46-yard gain in the second half. The freshman back has looked fantastic all season, as he now has back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Interim coach Dennis Dotton Carter spoke on Carter's success today. He, he just did an outstanding job. He went down and then you know, rallied himself back, was able to get back into the game. I mean, you can't say enough about the kid, again, and obviously he doesn't do it by himself. On those plays, he's making big runs. We're blocking up front. We're blocking on the perimeter. Uh, when we play together like that, really, really good things happen. We just got to get more of that. The Huskies went into the locker rooms at half with a 10-7 lead. However, the second half was another story. Hurt by the absence of head coach Lou Spanos, along with two other coaches and two linemen who were all out with COVID, the UConn defense was largely unable to stop the surging Minutemen offense, especially running back Ellis Merriweather, whose 39 carries make him the first UMass player with 30 rushes in a game since 2015. UMass would add an onside kick and force a three and out to take down the Huskies 27-13. This win breaks UMass's 16-game losing streak and brings UConn's losing streak to 11 games. Another heartbreaking loss here for UConn against their longtime rival. Next week, they come home to the rent on Saturday to play in their annual homecoming game against Yale. From McGurk Alumni Stadium in Amherst, Massachusetts, I'm Kyle Laidlaw, UCTV Sports.